Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the Fight Camp boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Fight Camp boxing gloves. They're offered in this all white with gray colorway. Come in two different sizes, small, which is 12 ounces like I have here, as well as large, which is 16 ounces. If you're trying to figure out what is the correct size to get for yourself, there's a couple things I want you to keep in mind. Both gloves, regardless if they're 12 or 16, can be used for doing all of your Fight Camp workouts on the app, hitting the Fight Camp bag, um, doing mitt work, hitting other kinds of bags. Maybe you're not hitting the Fight Camp bag. Maybe you have a double end bag or, or a, um, you know, maybe you have an uppercut bag in your home gym or at your gym. You can use either the 12 or the 16 for that. Um, the biggest difference is the 16 can also be used for sparring. So if you're looking at taking your training a little bit further, other than just doing bag work conditioning drills and you want to start sparring, if you get the 16s, you can use that for sparring. 12s are definitely not recommended for sparring, maybe some technical work. Uh, but in the end, if you end up getting the 16s, then you don't have to worry about spending additional money to buy a separate pair of boxing gloves specifically just for sparring. Whereas if you get the 12 ounce gloves and you decide to spar later down the road, whoever you're sparring or the coach or whoever's hosting the sparring at the gym may not allow you to use the 12 ounce gloves, nor should they for the safety of yourself as well as your sparring partner. And then now you're gonna have to either use the uh, gym gloves, which are usually pretty nasty, or you're gonna have to go buy yourself a separate pair of 16 ounce gloves. Um, so do keep that in mind. The other big, I guess you can call it, I wouldn't even say it's an advantage, but it's a, a key difference is the weight. Obviously 16 ounces is gonna be a little bit of a heavier glove. So if you're looking for a little bit more conditioning to get a little bit more of a strenuous workout, then probably 16 ounces is the way to go in terms of conditioning. Where 12 is great as well, but you can really use that more for like speed work, combination type work. Uh, and those to me are the key differences uh, when deciding on which weight to get with these gloves. Uh, the glove itself is a Velcro uh, closure only glove. You cannot get these gloves in lace up. They're made mostly of genuine leather with the exception being on the palm that utilizes some synthetic mesh for breathability and the glove uses multi-layer foam padding over the knuckle area that has a soft to medium density, which I really love. I love the, the density on these gloves. It's just my personal preference. Everybody's different, uh, but you can see it definitely has a much more of a softer uh, broken in feel. Uh, now this is gonna be Fight Camp's own branded gloves that you can purchase on their website. Keep in mind um, the gloves in terms of proprietary features, you don't have to have these gloves in order to use uh, the Fight Camp wraps or the trackers or even the app. You can use the app, you can use the trackers and use your own pair of boxing gloves. So if you already have something at home, a pair of boxing gloves you already have of another brand, those are, you know, those are totally fine. Um, it's not to say that you can't get these gloves, it's completely up to you, uh, but it is not required to have these gloves in order to use the Fight Camp program or the Fight, Fight Camp training. Um, this is just for those of you that maybe you're starting off completely green, you don't have any boxing equipment in your home, you go on a Fight Camp, you purchase the app, you get the trackers, you get the wraps, you get, get the actual bag itself, um, and then the last piece of the puzzle are gonna be the gloves, and maybe you don't have any gloves, then you have the ability and the option uh, to purchase a pair of boxing gloves. So hopefully this review, uh, for those of you that are, are completely new to this, will kind of give you the details about this and then from there you can make your own informed decision if you want to go this route with these Fight Camp gloves. So from a design standpoint, when you look at them, they're actually a really clean looking glove. I do like the fact that Fight Camp really kept the look of the glove simplistic and clean. They didn't go really crazy with logos all over the glove. Um, just like the other equipment they offer, the bag, there's, there's not all these logos splashed over it. You don't have multi-colors all over the glove. Um, one thing I do wish they did offer was other colorways, meaning like another solid color, maybe all black or all gray or even all, a black with gray on the thumb. Um, I mean, you have the stitching here that separates the thumb from the back of the glove. So it'd be nice to have other colors uh, other than white. White is very clean, um, but it also gets really dirty very quickly. And again, variety uh, would be nice. Uh, I do like the fact, again, that I mentioned earlier, you can get these in 12 or 16 ounces. Uh, Lace-up is not necessary because I feel like with Fight Camp, you know, this is gonna be training for people that might not necessarily be competitive boxers. Maybe maybe they will be at some point later down the road, but oftentimes it's just people starting off, just wanna get the shape or maintain their fitness level. 
And Velcro to me is, is the best way to go. You don't have to worry about leasing your gloves up for you. It's easy to put on and you can start going to work right away. Um, so design stamp, from a design standpoint profile, I'd say that these being a 12 ounce gloves are, are right on point with sizing. They're not overly huge and they're not too small. They're a perfect size to me. I got these in 12 just because I love doing bag work with smaller weight gloves as a personal preference. I do 16 ounce gloves as well for bag, bag work. It just depends on what I'm training for and what I'm training on. Um, some gloves, some bags are a lot more softer, some are denser, so I need a little bit more protection. So there's a couple variables, but looking at the leather on the glove, it's really nice. The gloves, you know, are pretty standard Pakistan leather. So if you have a pair of boxing gloves that are ma manufactured in Pakistan, you know, from Tidal, Top Boxer, um, then this is going to be really familiar to you in terms of the style of leather. It's pretty thick, has more of a satin finish to it. Coming down to the back of the wrist, you do have pipe cap going across with these horizontal lines. Looks really clean. You have a three and a half uh, inch Velcro strap with white piping. Um, one thing you'll notice is that the hinge point on the wrist does have a little bit of a, of a recessed piece of padding. And what's nice about this is if you were to use these gloves for sparring, the 16 ounce versions, is that the Velcro strap actually sits flush with this piece of padding. So not only are you getting a little bit more support on the back of your wrist, but it prevents the strap from actually getting um, snagged on something. So if you're throwing a punch, a left hook or whatnot, and you miss your target, you don't have this big lip of Velcro that can get caught on your, your, part, your sparring partner's headgear or a piece of clothing. So I do like the fact that you do have this thick piece of foam padding that allows the Velcro strap to sit kind of flush with that. Um, one thing you also notice is the Velcro strap is slightly tapered. Um, there's a couple other brands that do that as well, like Rival, where the strap doesn't just come straight across and then connect down here. It comes up just a little bit to give you a little bit more support. Um, it would have been nice if it was a little bit higher up or they kind of uh, come up with a strapping system that really locks it in. But I do like the fact that it does come up a little bit higher and you get a little bit more support on the lower part of your palm and not just on this section of your wrist that is below the hinge point on your wrist. So you do have that. The inside liner is a really nice, smooth, foamy, tri liner, which I love. Um, I'd say you have maybe about an inch of firm density foam padding, and you have a softer padding that lines up against your actual hand and your skin on the inside that's very comfortable. Um, the wrist support is a little bit lacking on the inside. I'd say maybe about a quarter of inch, but it's really soft and, and kind of flimsy. It would have been nice to have something a little bit more rigid on the wrist support there as well as on the other side so you can see actually how soft it is and just kind of flexible so something a little bit more rigid would have been nice on that end uh, but again here is the liner moving up to the palm side you'll notice you do have in the mesh palm i know there's a lot of people out there that hate that um, just because it, they feel like it kind of cheapens the gloves and it's not as durable sometimes it gets it gets torn and ripped pretty quickly the other thing about synthetic mesh is that uh, Velcro is its arch nemesis. So if you have these in your gym bag and you have uh, your hand wraps or any kind of Velcro, it can definitely get snagged on this synthetic mesh. And when you pull it off, it actually shreds the mesh. And over time, it really weakens the mesh and just, it looks, it looks like crap and it just shreds it all up. So that's the other uh, negative thing about the synthetic. I do like the softness of it. Um, you know, and I get the concept of the breathability part, but to be honest with you, if you're working out and you're sweating your butt off and you're really getting a great workout and it's just gonna get sweaty no matter what on the inside. I feel like synthetic mesh is kind of minimal when it comes to the actual uh, positive effect that it's supposed to have. Outside of just having a just huge open window where the air can go into it, uh, it does very minimal in my, in my opinion. Um, so it would have been nice if they just had just a, a flat piece of leather with some, some perforated holes like the thumb does and that would have been enough. Um, you do have a leather attached thumb there and you have a grip bar as well. I'd say it's about medium in size and uh, density. Uh, quality wise, the gloves are pretty solid. I'd say there's a couple of areas that are gonna be needing some improvement. The one I just most recently spoke about is gonna be that mesh palm. You can see the, some of the stitching on where the index finger is right there, where the thumb you see index finger definitely be improved right there. The holes are all perforated out. Uh, would have been nice to have a little bit of a larger grip bar. You can see it's just a little bit on the smaller side, a little bit small. Um, the weight of the gloves were slightly overweight. I believe when I put them on the scale, they're like 12.5. 
uh, about 12.5 ounces, uh, which to me is not a huge deal at all, really. I, I'd rather the gloves be a little bit overweight than underweight because then I feel like I'm getting more of a glove than less of a glove, if that makes sense. So they're slightly overweight, but not a huge deal. Um, the other thing is going to be just that wrist support. You can see, see how top heavy the glove is and there's relatively no wrist support on the inside right there. So to me, that's gonna be a big, uh, a big game changer if they can improve that midsection as well. Um, some stitching aside from where the index finger is, you can see there's a little bit of stitching coming up on that hinge point. You know, that looks all pretty solid. Um, there's a little bit of stitching on the inside of the glove, if I can recall. Or was it just on the, oh yeah, right there. So just, you know, some areas, not, you know, it's more aesthetics, but you do have a little bit of thread coming up there. No exposed foam on the inside, which is really good. Oh yeah, there's the, uh, the weight tag. Forgot to show that to you guys. So 12 ounces says made, made in Pakistan. So I'd say, again, bullet points, the wrist support, the mesh, and the stitching are probably gonna be the biggest things that can be corrected with these gloves. Uh, for, as far as comfort goes, sliding your hand into the glove, they're very comfortable. I love the liner, it feels really good. Um, the thumb piping isn't too tight. The thumb position, though, is a little awkward. I feel like the thumb position kind of flares out too much. I feel like this stitching and seam should be pulled in this way more and maybe bring this, this seam over further into the glove. And what that do, it'll, it'll pull my thumb in closer to my hand and allow my thumb to be a little bit more parallel. And you can see right now, I mean, I can move my thumb, but when I close and make a fist, you could just see there's this big gap right here between the inside of the thumb and my index finger. And I feel like that could be closed and bring, brought in more. Um, the attached thumb does its job. You don't have to worry about your thumb sticking out. It's just the inside meaty part right here that can be pulled in. And that's to me gonna be uh, an improvement they need to make. The depth of the thumb is perfect though. You don't have to worry about your thumb jamming when you land a punch. Uh, the depth of the fin compartment is perfect as well. The grip bar feels okay, wish it was a little bit bigger, but the liner on the inside is nice and soft and foamy. Um, the secondary grip bar, there's a second piece here that feels, well, maybe that's just a seam, but there, the liner covers it, but then you can feel like a little bit of stitching. So it would have been nice if they use like a neoprene pad or, so, or some type of felt padding to cover that so you don't feel that stitching. Um, the wrist support does feel pretty good. I just wish there was more uh, rigid padding on the wrist itself to make it a little bit more rigid in this area uh, and a little bit harder so it's not as soft and floppy. Um, but the key takeaways from this is definitely gonna be the thumb, the stitching on the finger compartment, um, and just the wrist support. Uh, protection performance is probably gonna be the highlight of this glove. Um, and again, this is a little bit more of a softer consistency glove. I've used this on my fight camp bag. I've used this at the gym as well, hitting the pro last bag with it. And uh, it feels great when you, when you land, you know you're landing on your two front knuckles. You get that nice pop and that sensation. Um, I wouldn't say that these are the most protective gloves in the world in terms of shock absorption. So if you're looking for something that will help you, if you have sore knuckles, you have a, a pre-existing hand injury, um, this is definitely on the softer side. So you'll know that when you land, you land and your, your knuckles sink in, which I personally love. Uh, but if you're looking for something extremely protective, that's just kind of overbuilt for protection. These are not gonna be those gloves. They're not puncher's gloves either. So they're not like a Mexican style horsehair glove to where you know, you're basically punching barehanded. It, this is not it. I'd say that it's in between in the middle and on the softer side, it's kind of in between that in terms of like a, a range. Uh, definitely on the softer end with a level of compression and protection, but I definitely love the way uh, that this foam per, uh, performs, especially when you're hitting some of the micro mitts, you can really feel like you're making that nice connection and the, the hits are coming in very uh, precise, if that makes any sense. Cost-wise, these gloves are $149. Um, I feel like the gloves are slightly overpriced just because there's, again, you know, I always make my comparisons and I, the reason I say that is because Every month, I mean, I would say every year, but every month, every week, there's new new gloves, I feel like, are coming out, brands and gloves. So you're, the, these companies that are coming out with gloves, Fight Camp obviously has a big following with their app and their training, um, but I feel like you're competing with so many other companies that make great equipment as well. To me, this is more of like a, a $100 glove. Um, the synthetic mesh as well, that's kind of a big takeaway from the glove, and the small improvements they can make with it. But I definitely applaud them, I think they did, a very good job in terms of 
really trying to make a good glove that's not just a fitness glove. You know, oftentimes companies that come out with their own boxing programs online, um, or even in person, you might go to a brick and mortar place that does, you know, like Rumble Boxing or whatnot, and they have a very just generic glove that you can tell that they didn't really put any thought into. Uh, I feel like Fight Camp did a really good job of using their knowledge of coming from boxing, uh, boxing, you know, history and coming from uh, having um, done boxing in the past. You know, uh, Tommy Duquette, who's uh, the founder of Fight Camp. You know, he was. Uh, an amateur boxer uh, back in the day and I actually believe uh, he was actually fighting for the uh, Team USA at one point uh, in his, his uh, amateur career. So, you know, Tommy comes from a big background when it comes to boxing, a lot of experience. So I definitely like the fact that you're, you're getting a product from people that are experienced within boxing and not just kind of fitness people that uh, are coming out with a glove that's more for marketing rather than it is for actual performance. So I just think it needs a couple of tweaks. I do think it's a little bit overpriced on the on the cost side because of what else is out there. But if they can make some improvements on this, maybe adjust it in terms of pricing, offer other colorways, uh, then I definitely think they're on the right road and can see uh, a much uh, improved product that they can offer uh, for Fight Camp. So. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can fight these Fight Camp boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.